Hey, JF, I looked at the drive schedule. Aren't you and Alex on the West Coast? I'm here at Finn Raceway Performance Driving Center at Infinium. Why don't you get your guy's uh, ass up here? And uh, I know how much Alex is a Sim guy. You can play on the Sim. And I've been here a couple of days with the Palatar D4 and the Sim Raceway guys. And it could be a good, uh, a good gig. So I'm up here. Join me. We'll have fun. Take care. Right on time. Glad you got the phone call. If JF hadn't called me, I would never have come. Oh, uh, listen, so here's the gig. You know, Sim Raceway, we're here with them. Yeah. And we're doing some track time, and Sim Raceway has a rep called Alan McNish, and I thought you knew him. I thought I just saw him drive away. Right, right. Know him, I met him. So the idea is to get you to sim up with the Sim Raceway equipment, maybe spend some time doing the Sim competition with Alan McNish. I simulated sobriety with him one time in Santa Monica at the armpit pub I'm like doesn't matter don't make me regret the call but but, but that sim experience I'm gonna turn into racing experience thank you for inviting me because you know I'm terrible on track no I only play Forza I don't really know sim race and thank you for inviting me because when JF gets good invitations like McNish oh hey oh McNish he never invites me thank you well you're here and uh, <laughs> hey, you're welcome you, okay and uh, I don't know whether you're gonna race him or have to battle him but let me we'll go inside something. and practice the game right now Come before on. he comes back yeah let's go that'd be a good <laughs> idea yeah go get him he'll never beat him never <laughs> Live and Let Drive is ostensibly a road trip show, but in order to explain how and why we're here today and the trip part was omitted, or let's just say the road was omitted, I'd like to redefine Live and Let Drive as a travel show, which will always include a car. And I hope you'll forgive me, but McNish Sim Racing, like I wasn't going to come here, I promise you a lot more road tripping. And of course, when I found out I'd be racing <laughs> against him on the Infineon karting track in Sim, that was pretty terrifying. Luckily, he hadn't driven it either. Unluckily, it's Alan McNish. Do, does, does, can we delay this a few days? Huh? What's up? Can this whole thing be delayed a few days? And... Why? Well, I just did a 103, my best lap, and he did a 56. Um, I mean, I was hoping we would do like. Uh, this is the first time he's been on this track too. He slid in well. well. That's not true. He's never. This is the Infineon car track. He said he's never been on it before. I've never raced Alan McNish before, but this is not fair. Why? I mean, it's pretty awesome that McNish is here spending any time with me at all. Because he's racing at Sebring in a week. Le Mans is a couple of months away. He's as driving the Audi R18, the new hybrid crazy one, helping develop that. But he's here at Infineon because uh, Sim Raceway is one of his sponsors. And he is working on the realism of the Audis that are in-game. So what is the next trip? Uh, what is the next big step towards making Sims even more realistic? I think... There's two things. One of it is uh, the scanning of the circuits and things like that, so the bumps and curves and bits and pieces and the reactions of that. I think it's going to be very difficult to have big motion simulators that produce the true feeling of being in a car, having your lungs crushed inside your ribcage and, you know, that whole feeling of the vibration. You know that whole thing. I don't know. It's quite well, a I, I know all of those feelings and I know how difficult it will be to actually create that in a sim environment. However, if you can get 90% of all the other things, then that just leaves 10%. Right. And uh, so that's, I would say, in terms of the visualization, that's one part of it. And in terms of the technology to be able to give you those senses coming to you in a format that you can, you can work with. There are two schools of thought in racing. Um, compare my hot lap with yours, or let's go on the track at the same time. Um, in this case, I almost would rather have been on the track with them at the same time because instead we did. I'll compare my times with yours, which meant McNish over my shoulder heckling me the entire time. 
I was hoping to delay this part, but no, <laughs> this, no, 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 no. This, this is only practice. <laughs> hey, we're only doing practice. Oh yeah. Well, this is the challenge. Sure. The big pressure comes later. <laughs> this is just practice. That's what she said. So <laughs> that's going to be a five-minute, the best of five minutes. I'll time it. And what you'll have to do is you'll get in the seat, and as soon as you leave the row, the five minutes though. I got ten minutes of practice time beforehand, as did he. Then five minutes, best lap, cart, and on carting track. I just want to get this on camera. You, this is the first time you've been on this track today. Yeah, like yeah, this, yeah. In this simulation. No, ever. I've never actually uh, even driven the circuit up there okay. in live. So, so it's this is the first time, time for everything. Yeah, yeah. Let's okay. pretend. And this is the fir your first time. Let's correct. pretend he's driven it many times. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, is this some sort of mental game? You're actually preparing me no, up no. thinking, giving me that extra bit of confidence waiting for me to trip up. I would, if it was anyone but you, if it was that coward Capello, yes. No. <laughs> Carding is hard, but carding's a lot easier in a sim when someone like myself, who's over 200 pounds, races against someone like McNish, who's only 160, because that's a pretty big advantage in the real world. I was thinking your hands should have weights on them. <laughs> you should wear weighted <laughs> gloves like, a, like an astronaut. That would be fair. <laughs> it's a good thing that the monitors had anti-glare coating because McNish would have seen me staring, stunned at his face, which was absolutely stone, frozen, impassive, focused and unblanking on the screen, his hands utterly smooth on the wheel. Not like Chris Harris complained. And his feet, um, gentle on, gentle off. Like a string attached to the bottom of the steering wheel connected to his throttle foot. It's impressive. Yeah. I, I, I do think one thing we should have negotiated ahead of time, and it's totally unfair, you had it pinned the red line the whole time, the car never would have survived it. How else do you drive? Do you drive in the green? That's why there's red at the yeah. end, at the end of the spectrum. Sir. There we go. It's perfectly warmed up. Tire um, temperatures now at 65 uh, and 68. Uh, before I get into the seat, I just want to quote a certain evil world leader from a movie that's been spoofed on YouTube who says, anyone who thinks a this should leave the room now, leave the room now. <laughs> <laughs> anyone know that video? If you don't, we'll just leave it alone. <laughs> All right, let's rock and roll. Having once been heckled by Eddie Irvine, who called me a poltroon and one who lacks Nelsonic temperament, uh, it was not nearly as uncomfortable to be heckled and then taught a little bit by McNish, who said my biggest problem was stress. Enough laughter. I can hear McNish even through the headphones. <laughs> like, it's like my own personal McNish. <laughs> Breathing. My problems, I thought, were sweat on the bald head dripping off my face. A backseat McNish is like a new term for driving. <laughs> Every driving or racing game I've ever played to get faster was literally trial and error. And it wasn't a function of learning the physics of the car. It was some track layout and the limitations of the controllers. Playing this game with McNish's advice was the first time I'd ever learned anything actually about driving from playing a game, a sim. Fair. Remember what I said to you beforehand, though, now Stand the this platform. is the important part, the pressure's on. This is when nerves build up, this is when you really have to focus and not make mistakes, okay? This is the point when you have to try to concentrate. Focus. Focus. Two seconds quicker, or 1.5 seconds quicker than your previous best lap at that yeah. point. 
Well, thanks for the advice. I shake my hands, but my hand is covered in sweat. I know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks, Alan, because nope. I did get a lot better there with your advice. Well, thank you, because now I know my job is safe. <laughs> oh. well, you know, he could be a lot harsher, but he was still a kind man. Well, I'm just about to actually give him a comment now, if you <laughs> want to know the truth. I'm going to go over there and, uh, you know, go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, it's... Uh... <laughs> yeah. When you see it live, when you're standing here watching it, when you do it practice on your own, and then yeah. when you do it with a stopwatch against it, it's like three different yeah. complete scenarios. Yeah. I, I mean, there's so many bad puns I can make, and I'm not going to make, because I really enjoyed this and appreciate your advice. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a lot. See you soon. Yeah, I'll see you in the mall. Totally missed it. Yeah. Well, the, hit the apex. Unfortunately. I was fine until you said something. But it was before the corner. That was a problem. Yeah, you're turning in a touch early. I would suggest maybe to turn in a touch later. Do you need commentary like a rally driver? I love commentary. Okay. Fast right. Straight, kink right, flat, over hill. I was expecting more insults. Into the first corner. You're going to get it when you get to the first corner, don't worry. Oh, yeah. Grass pad, grass pad. I know we said rallying, but stay on the black stuff. <laughs>